I'm here with Aaron the Marksman Morgan ahead of his clash on Saturday night. Aaron, how are you? I'm oh, fine, thank you, mate. Um, tell me about your fight this week, uh, this weekend. Well, I've got a six round contest this weekend. Uh, I've got an opponent confirmed as a uh, Christian Santa. Had a little look at him. Looks, uh, looks a decent opponent. Should, uh, should provide me with a tough test. And uh, I've trained well. I've prepared uh, diligently. So I'm um, ready to get in the ring and do business. Tell me about your training. What's, what's, what's been different for you leading up to this fight in particular? I mean, nothing's, nothing's been different, I'd say, in the case. Training is always, always the same. Always train hard, always train, train properly. And uh, I dedicate myself to the sport. So I've just been continuing to, to do more of the same. Obviously, you've got a, quite a high KO percentage. I think it's seventy percent, something like that. Is this something that you go into fights looking to do now? Is that something that you think pleases your fans? They want to come, they want to see a knockout, and, and you want to give them that. Um, it's not something I look. It's not something I look to do. I mean, you know, the, the safest the safest time in a fight is when the fight is finished. So if the opportunity presents itself to finish the fight early, I'm always going to take the opportunity. I'm always going to try and take the opportunity. But I don't go in there. Don't go in the ring looking uh, for the KO. If it comes, then uh, gladly I'll accept it. Tell me about what you want to achieve this year. Obviously, after this fight opens up the question of Southern Area titles. Is that a step you want to take next? Is that a step you think you're ready for now? Yeah, definitely. I thought I'm ready for now. You know, we've come towards the, the end of my apprenticeship, as they say. Um, I thought I thought I'm ready to step up. I thought that I'm ready to get in the title mix and. Hopefully we'll make that happen. Are there any names on your list at the moment? There's no names on my list in, in uh, specifically. Um, I definitely want to crack into the top 10 this year and I, I definitely think I can do that. I feel we're well within my capabilities. So anyone really that's above me in, uh, in the rankings at the moment is a fight I'll be interested in. Where do you see yourself domestically in the next you know, year, two years in the, in the light world weight division? In the Super Bowl weight division. Sorry, no, super, super. In the Super Bowl weight division, yeah. domestically, I feel that I can be right in there, right in the mix. I want to rule the roost. I want to be the main man in the division. And uh, definitely, I can see myself getting involved in the mix. What does something like London Live bring to you? What, what, what type of platform do you see that as? And does it act as motivation for you? I mean, any platform that's going to gonna project a sport to more, to more viewers is always going to be a good thing. Um, you know, any platform that's going to be able for me to showcase my skills to a larger audience is going to be a good thing. So it's a positive. Aaron, thank you for talking to us, and we'll uh, we'll see you and catch up with you again very soon. No problem, bro. Thank you very much.